Why do religious people so misinterpret the Bible? Why? Why? I mean, it's like deliberate or something. It's like the most simplistic scriptures and statement. They can't get it. Jesus said, Matthew 5 and verse 17, Think not that I have come to destroy the law of the prophet. I have not come to destroy, but to fulfill. The very thing Jesus said, don't think it. Don't let it enter your pea brain mind that I have come to destroy the law is the very thing millions of Christians are thinking today. They're thinking the very thing Jesus said, don't think it. Don't think that I've come to destroy the law of the prophets. And, it, and it, yep, that's exactly why Jesus came to this earth to destroy, to abolish, to do away with the law, to nail it to its cross, to fulfill it, whatever. That Christ, that Christ came to do away with the law. Now, according to Thayer's definition, all right, what's Thayer's definition? Well, you've heard of a Strong's Concordance before. I mean, it's, it's, it interprets the Greek and Hebrew of the Bible. Okay, Thayer's definition of this word fulfill means obey, Jesus obeyed it as it should be. To obey as it should be. Okay, that's what the word fulfill means. To obey as it should be. Don't think that I've come to destroy the law or the prophets. I have not come to destroy but to fulfill, to obey it as it should be. You see, if Jesus did not obey the law as it should be, we wouldn't have a Savior. Okay? Of course he had to obey it as it should be. Because if he had failed to obey the law as it should be, we would not have a Savior. He would have disqualified himself. Okay? Let's continue on. Matthew 10 and verse 34. Think not that I have come to send peace on the earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Now, what in the world is this all about? I mean, I, mean, I think about the Christmas story, you know? Peace on earth and goodwill toward men. You know, we're all just, it's all about peace and love. And we're all out here loving each other. We're in this traffic jam and we're flipping people off and we're charging a credit card up to the hill. Money we don't even have. We're just having a great time with peace and peace on earth. And isn't the traffic jams wonderful? And isn't the, you know, black, black, what is it? Black Friday where people get trampled to death and killed like a bunch of wild pigs going into a hurt, you know, Heard of wild pigs going into the slop trough, you know. People get killed, get run over, whatever. You know, peace. It's all about peace and, and loving Jesus. And it's, 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 you know, Jesus is up in heaven saying, all this for me. Look at that peace. There seems to be a disconnect, okay? There seems to be a disconnect somewhere, all right? Now, the question is this. If you were God, why would you allow the Bible to be written in such a way that it would be easy, so easy, to be misunderstood? Did you know that Jesus answers this question? We're going to read it. I mean, I don't know if, you, if you're, you're big enough to understand. Well, big enough, you're big enough to understand it, but whether you're big enough to accept it is another question. Check us out on the web at isthatreallyinthebible.com.